What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today on the very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today, Samsung has released another hidden labs menu inside of one of their stock applications. It's one of my favorite things that Samsung does for advanced users like ourselves. They hide some of these labs that you can enable and then you can use those advanced features uh, that help you get a little more out of the phone. So I'm gonna show you guys how to enable the labs menu that is now hidden in the new My Files app for your file management on the S24 Ultra and other Samsung devices. Before we get started, I wanna thank my son, Jonathan. We got some dinos to hang out as usual. We've got the Carnotaurus, and then back here, we've got my friend, the Spinosaurus as well. We always appreciate my three-year-old son for giving us some toys, dinos, et cetera, to hang out in the video. Also wanna remind you guys, if you haven't yet, check out my alpha link. It's got the current video, my personal website. You can also sign up for the newsletter to get information about the mystery boxes we do here on the channel. The mystery boxes, if you order a Samsung phone through our affiliate link at pre-order time, you get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand, a lot of other randomly assorted goodies. All that information is below if you want to check it out. So Samsung just posted a brand new update for the MyFiles application. Uh, in order to get this, you're going to need to head over to APK Mirror. Um, this is not one that you're going to be able to grab directly from the Galaxy Store just yet. At least most likely not. I'll show you the listing on the Galaxy Store. Mine is not there yet. But the version for the new MyFiles Labs menu is 15.0.0.5. AP key mirror is, is legitimate and uh, I've used them for years, so you don't have to worry. You should always do your own research to make sure you're not installing bad stuff. And of course, I don't recommend sideloading apps from sources that you don't trust, but APK mirror is very reputable in the Android industry and I've been using it for a long time. I'll drop the link below. Now, if you go over to the Galaxy Store, you can also search for it there. Although I haven't really seen anyone have the update yet today inside the Galaxy Store. If you search for my files here, Samsung My Files and tap on it. Go ahead and scroll down. You see it says the most recent version that I have available in the Galaxy Store is 15.0.03.25, updated a month ago. And this version does not contain the new labs feature. So just keep in mind that if you don't find it there, you will need to sideload the APK. So once you do that, let me go back into My Files right here. This is the new version. And the way you enable the brand new labs menu, and I'll run you guys down a list of new features that it contains is you go up here to settings and then go over here to about my files. And right here, as usual, when you're inside a menu for a Samsung app to enable the labs menu, you're gonna repeatedly tap on the my files text logo just up here at the top. And it says enable my files labs. Once you tap on it repeatedly, you do have to go back to the main screen and then this my files labs menu will appear right here. And then once you enable that and tap on that, you'll see all the MyFats options. Now you see here, all functions in labs are not official, but only for internal tests. Please do not use below features in normal usage, which might cause unexpected corruption or wrong behavior. Usually when they put things in labs menus though, they're not things that are gonna break your phone. So you don't have to worry too much about that. Um, I would say you can proceed and use these. It's just, they might be a little buggy. So keep that in mind. So let's go through the options we have. The first one is a huge one that a lot of people really want to enable and people have asked for this to come back for a while and that is the permanently delete option. Now, when you go to delete, you'll now have the option to permanently delete instead of sending it to the trash bin, which is something people have been begging for over on the Samsung forums. Uh, history, data history, this will allow you to basically determine which apps are occupying the storage space. So you can turn this on. Uh, you do need to allow permission for usage data access for my files in order to do that. File operation history. This is going to tell you basically which files you've interacted with and sort of what sort of operations you've done, like move them, copy them, delete, etc. Media files and pending status will show you the media that you currently have, like downloading, I'm assuming, in queue. Original files of edited images and video. Now, this is a very interesting one. Basically, whenever you do and edit using like either the new AI generative edit or some of the other editing features inside of Samsung's gallery of files app. It also saves copies of your original files for your pictures or your videos. So this will actually show you where you have all that information, all the original files, they'll all be saved here. And you can also go in here and reclaim some storage space by deleting those. Some of these could be very large if you've taken really high resolution photos. So that could be one of the big benefits of enabling this and going in there and taking a look. And then there's a brand new feature called Reorganize Folders. This tidies up the folders that has over 100 items. It'll reduce the time of finding files. And so if you do this, it basically is going to allow you to have a little bit faster search 
when finding files inside of the My Files application. So I'll be testing that out for speed and kind of see how that goes. I have quite a few folders on my device that have those. Let's check out the permanently delete option really quick. Let's go back to My Files here. And I have noticed this version is a little buggy. Let me long press on this one. And let's say that I want to delete it. And there it is. I can check this box that says permanently delete. And instead of going into the trash bin, it's going to permanently delete the file. So I don't have to then go to the trash bin and then do another step to permanently delete it. So that's a great feature. A lot of people have been asking for that over in the forums. I know people will be very happy about that. Um, that's probably the biggest one I would say for most people from this new labs menu. But there's obviously quite a few other ones that I'm going to be testing out. And I'll certainly report back my, uh, my usage over on Twitter. So give me a follow there. Anyway, let me know if you guys grab the update, how your experience is with it. It's always nice to see Samsung giving us more options for the advanced users out there. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon, future videos like this. Check out the alpha link if you're interested. Again, mystery box program, all that good stuff. And I'll have the APK mirror link below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.